Epic Mega Jam 2023 Day 1. I'm participating with a team of 5 people in the Epic Mega Jam, where we have to make a game in only 7 days around a theme. In my team I have a character artist, an environment artist, a sound designer, a programmer, and of course, me. This is a recap of day 1, where the theme was announced and we got the game idea. All of this was streamed, so make sure to tune in in future lives. So, let's get started. Hurry up. That's the sound I make when I join a Discord uh, audio. audio. It sounds like the boss, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, my teams have joined, let's see. When, when Alright, so we have Brandon, has just joined. Uh, so Brandon, let me just go ahead and just lower a bit the, uh, the sound here. So Brandon will be our environment designer. Uh, you want to just say hi? Hi. There we go. So, he will be, you know, making all the environment models and so on. Uh, so that will be cool. So let's see Brandon if we can make a cool game, you know. Are you excited to this? I am, I'm gonna try and do my best to make everything look good. Cool. Let's see what theme they gave us, you know, because it can be hard or easy, so I guess we have to pray. Hopefully something that's easy to work with. Yeah. Okay, hey, how's right. it going, Ryan? Good. Hey, Pedro. Okay, so we have Ryan, which will be our sound designer. And also, Pedro, which will be our character artist. So, hello, just say hello to the chat over there. Hey, chat. It's me. Hi, Ryan. chat. Cool. <laughs> here. So, we got eight minutes. Let's see what we got over here. You're, you're building the anticipation okay. really Let's well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Do we get a drum roll? Here it comes. <laughs> All right. Let's Hold see. Again. All right. Let's announce it in three, two, one. Just me. There we Antiquated go. Antiquated future. Antiquated future is oh, this cool. year's theme. Oh god. So there's. <laughs> there's I don't want to give up too okay. many things. Don't want to fill your heads with too many ideas. Do you guys want to stay a bit more in the live stream, or do you want this like straight up good ideas? I don't think we need to hear anymore. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're good to go. All right. So now. Let's go ahead and just, you know, grab ideas with the team. I don't know what's happening with Rachel, but he's also from Brazil. Again, he will be our programmer. Um, and that will be interesting. So, with no, you know, further pause, let's go and just start to get ideas. Here we go. Cool. So, everyone's here. First of all, let's see, what does that mean? What do you guys, you know, think of like, that theme? It's giving me like giant, like, Bioshock. Like vibes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bioshock. Either the second Bioshock or definitely like the Bioshock Infinite. That's kind of like. That's yeah. what my mind, at least. I, I didn't get from there, but uh, I forgot the uh, specific word in English, also in Portuguese, is the idea that there's something in the medieval era, but like something is not right, but have like a house from the Victorian era kind of disturbance like sort of yeah no, not necessary like there is a specific word for that but uh, i don't remember so when something is wrong but yeah, not uh, like simple okay. yeah out of place but there's a, i believe it's a specific word so we're gonna start to put one of those so you're free to use you know put whatever you want in the text we can start to just put things and i know that really that wasn't a, a concrete idea but we can just put like you know ancient Temple, I know how to type with advanced tech, we could say. A futuristic players possess a time amulet that allows them to manipulate time in specific areas. They can switch between different areas. And... Wow, mm. I like this idea. It was yeah. good. Got on, uh... Yeah, exactly. This is a specific. Yeah. Mechanic, right? Mm. Oh, also an idea is like you are an, an alien and you have this advanced technology like UFOs and you go to another planet, but they actually have more advanced technology that could be also a quick idea. So you have aliens, go with. Oh, oh I got it. It's more being. What kind of genre you go for? Well, we really don't know. We're just going and getting these around the 
antiquated future theme so we just have a bunch of genres really really like horror exploration we we'll need to you know narrow it down each time that we select an idea but for now it's very general right flying ships uh hunting cloud whales chat seemed like okay you need like a story for the game yeah i mean first of all we get a, an idea then later on when we start to develop the systems we can come up with a story but overall i don't think it's too too necessary to right now think on the whole story you know another one that's like similar to the grandkid stuff like the uh, cultural traditions that would help the future like some going to the the like some apocalypse society not necessary yeah but like they used to do some stuff but they stopped by by new technology okay i see i like it uh, i have an idea that would like combine multiple uh, okay. ideas we have up there but yep. like in a some like neon city how about like you're an old model robot like in an antique shop trying yep. to like escape your fate oh like, destroyed i like it okay yeah, that would be a great idea. It would join a lot of them that we have now. Yeah, wow. I mean, we already have a whole bunch of ideas. Cool. I mean, let's come up with more and then we'll start to, you know, select ideas, narrow it down and be more specific, but yeah, cool. So how many ideas we have already? About like 23 ideas? Pretty cool. Somebody said a better version of Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> In seven that days, be... totally possible. Oh. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, I can make a better start for them, but can someone tell me what is the theme? The theme is antiquated future. Quite hard, honestly, to come up with ideas, but look, we got it. We got a few of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some like little shapes. So in this case, I'm gonna put like a mini circle in the ones that I like, like, you know, so let me, in my case, I'm gonna make them blue. So each one can just pick a color. I'm gonna put just, you know, the ones that you think that it will be very interesting. Okay. I think I need to uh, separate first, a bit before, like, the voting. Like, uh, separate the ones that more, like, general, have a general theme. And the more yeah, yeah, true. ones more so, specific. Yeah, still, we, we will not like vote, a, but we're gonna put, like, the ones that we feel that we should pass into the next like selection, you know what I mean? The ones that could be cool. So they put some points, the ones that I like. Okay, so Pedro, your color is um, purple. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to, <laughs> how to feel the, <laughs> I I how to... For now, Ryan's idea is winning. I think the one with the horror antique shop with killer robots. We'll pick the ones that have at least one boat. So let me start to use paste them here. <laughs> the next phase of ideas now. Um, we do have a lot of ideas here that we need to, you know, narrow it down. ID, I guess. <laughs> ideas three. And we'll move those. Honestly, that kind of just seems like our game. <laughs> like, that of just seems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. That, that's our game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because we have. Two different ideas and then a mechanic, which we could kind of join together. And of course, you know, we, especially Brandon, who's making the environment, you know, we'll not have time to make all of that, <laughs> you know, there's, there's a lot of things, but we could make it way simpler. But with this concept of kind of futuristic city in terms of all kind of made a mess, right? Yeah, I, I mean, right now we have a pretty concrete idea. Um, and it's true, someone in the chat said it, but he said, there are too many robots, right? And if we go with this idea. So I guess that the antique shop, we will need to make it like very antique, right? Like make it look actually old in that game. So, so we can get the contrast. Um, from what perspective is the game? Is this third person, first person, top down? True, true. I don't know why we didn't come up with that. Um, what would you guys say? Honestly, I would say third person. So we can see, we, so we can have a cool character, like we can yeah, see your, your the, robot, right? We can see the robot you, that you have, because if not, but what are you? Mm, yeah, if you're going to first person, the, <laughs> there's no need to be a, a character, <laughs> character model. So only I like mean, the 
It's hmm. probably more like the pencil you see. I would only need to mod the hands of like some. When I was thinking of what we were doing, I was feeling like it was going to be kind of like a first person okay. design okay. kind of type. I was kind of thinking like it could be like that. That would be like more stealth oriented. I see. Okay. More first person stealth oriented. Okay. And then you could use the um, like the time mechanic to get around objects or like um, yeah. open new apps and whatnot. Are we navigating between different areas? So like we go from the antique shop and then we're outside in the city. Is that the idea? Good question. Um, I guess that we are mainly only going to be inside of the antique shop, but we could only create a very small exterior part. So you can just like be, you can start the game from outside and just enter, but it's only like a very 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 small song you know so you have the feeling that you're in like in the city and you go to the shop but the rest of the game like 90 percent of the game is in the shop I, I would say to go in that direction but you have any ideas yeah i think it would be better just to keep it smaller yeah keep it with the antique shop um and then they could like find a way to like get through like it could be definitely like a bigger antique shop to lengthen the game but not so big that it's going to be going to overwhelm us yeah so in terms of objectives the the thing will be just to escape the antique shop. Is that the yeah, idea? Escape from escape from what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was what I was saying. This is like the character itself is like locked on the. Oh, good shop. idea. Maybe the character could be like blocked in the steampunk, you know, technology, and in the uh, shop or like oh, some old. He old, could be like a design. type of homeless steampunk ro robot that is uh, like always moving through these antique shops and and so on and he wants to go out from the antique shop into the real world and find good technology that could be an idea yeah the, we can go like if we, if we go like this route of like trying to escape without some kind of enemy pursuit we need to go like a, a good level of design cache on the puzzles yes it's going to be many yeah. of puzzle games. Yeah, we're going to have puzzles and so on. Yeah, would we make it like a puzzle game or would we make it like kind of like an alien isolation kind of like horror game where you have like... The, uh, yeah, the an AI follow you. Look, we yeah. can have a mixture. We can have this AI that is following you, but you have different puzzles in the way to continue. That could be an idea. Someone said to make the character a robot toy so you can locate the whole story in the attic shop that could be a good idea yeah. but the, the, this is like he can be very small yeah he can no. be like <laughs> kind of small but if it's first person maybe it's a bit hard to <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The, the, this kind of idea that he would be like a small toy robot it would need to be like a third person game or like a overview camera like you would see the over the top camera to see the uh, yeah. little um, little I haven't played, but I have seen a lot of stuff from it. Okay, I was gonna say we could do something that would be kind of like in yeah. that uh, same like camera style. Basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, yeah, that would be really cool. Being like a little toy like robot, um, really going through that, but with like kind of like the camera style of Little Nightmares. Yeah, I just posted uh, an image here. Yeah, yeah, I actually love that camera. With Unreal Engine, there's a lot of tools to make that. So that can be cool. I haven't actually like played it, played it, but can you... Is this always like in this fixed position? Or can you move it a bit like horizontally in that, um, that way? I played it a while ago. I'm pretty sure it is only the fixed position. Like I okay. feel like you can move a tiny bit, but it's tiny bit. mostly in that way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that, that would be a really cool... Um, camera perspective very uni unique and that not a lot of other uh, you know people in the game then will do I guess yeah we use a lot less um, like models and whatnot and kind of like if hmm. we're only doing one perspective and they don't have to like turn the camera around to see the other side yeah exactly we can design the level to be more specific to what we want hmm. yeah yeah all right so I'm just uh, you know organizing this a bit uh, I can delete ideas too. No, the text should go here. Walking humanoid 
robot or like a more like Plados from oh I, I think humanoid right basically be maybe um, uh, have different states so he'll have the idle state maybe he can just be cleaning with a how do you say it? the thing to clean <laughs> uh, also be just maybe wandering around to find you and then also chasing so again you can have like maybe three four states right it depends on how to uh, I create the robot it may yeah. need to like well, do a... in case for the robot it might be easier for you to just figure out the straight one like literally the one that is standing there you know yeah, and yeah. I think no, no, be the, a, an inspiration the doubt here is more like the the idea of the expression because like we can use the mix sounds to the walking yeah. animation and stuff but i think the texture the the expressions are like a, are done by like texture change i don't i don't yeah. know if you know how to do it yeah a i could video. i could make a you know that it would just pick a random texture in the face yeah. because you, you could just model the face without nothing and then later in Unreal, I can just add a plane with a texture that is attached to the head and I can just change, you know, that texture, whatever state he is. So we have like three or four states. So like angry, yeah, when he's chasing or just calm, like very simple, you know, that would be pretty straightforward to do. We have a task, like a, you know, section for each of us. So we like for, you know, Grammar, which will be for me and Rail. Let's put it here. Like the eye would like be closing. Yeah. Like, oh, guys, this like is crazy. Yeah, love it. Like, okay. Is like so very quickly the idea of the texture, like the character will only have like a the eye closing, like. I only would need to like move his light, yeah. the light down the eye part. Uh, yeah. So if he doesn't find the key, he do you mean if we restart in a checkpoint or something like that? Oh, cool. All right. So I, I like how we are already planning everything out. It's so now pretty cool. Progress. Pretty cool live stream today. Very, very, very intensive. We did a lot of stuff. Look, look at all this. Come on, guys. This is insane. And this is just the beginning. <laughs>